Hi, I'm Lee Iridium. I'll be doing all right today and it's reaction time. This is Wings of Steel and Black Out the Street. Now, I came across this one. Um, this is the only reaction I'm actually doing, I think, which hasn't been suggested. Now, I came across this one because of the brilliant channel that I subscribe to called New Wave of Traditional Heavy Metal Full Albums. It's on YouTube. I suggest, I highly suggest you um, go and sign up to that YouTube channel. I find loads of great music on there. And this came across today, it just popped up as a an already released EP from this band. So Wings of Steel, it, the EP's entitled Wings of Steel, um, already available everywhere. Um, and this is like an American band or project. You've got Leo Unamark on the vocals and Parker Halub on the guitar and bass. So I don't know who really does the drums or anything like that, but they're the two main people in this. Um, what I did with this, always listen to the stuff that this that channel um, kicks out. Listen to a few seconds and I thought, wow, that sounds fucking good. And I've found so much great music like that. So listen to a few seconds of this, guys. Um, the full EP, like, I haven't heard it yet. I just chose one song because I didn't know what to do because I don't think any I don't think it's been any singles released as such. I don't think there has, but I chose the longest song because I thought, why not? This is six minutes and seven um, seconds long. It's the last track on the EP, Wings of Steel. Um, I love the name of the band as well. Proper old fashioned sort of metal sort of um, name of a band. I love the, love the name of the band. So Black Out the Street, Wings of Steel. I hope this is good. Right, here we go. Without further ado. I'm actually going to stop it there. It's only two minutes in, only because it's changed up. It's gone a bit quiet all of a sudden. So, man, I love this. I absolutely love the groove of this song. It's a brilliant paced song, almost slow to medium paced. And because it's a slow to medium paced, the guitar work, is you can really hear that, that groovy rhythm of the guitar and loads of intricate bits going on at the same time. You can hear the, like, the lead or almost twin lead parts of both the guitars. I take it there's two guitars, you know, in this, there is in this recording for sure, because you can really hear some intricate sort of twin lead parts in between the rhythm parts, which I absolutely love. I love his vocals. He has got that sort of almost old fashioned new wave of 
traditional heavy metal vocal. I, I love his vocals. I think it really suits the music. I love the chorus. It almost doesn't change that much. You know, I love the fact that it's sort of gliding along so far and it hasn't changed. I, I love the song as it is at the moment. But the chorus almost is not a lot different than the verses, but it's highlighted by some brilliant backing vocal harmonies that really lift the chorus. I love the drum work. I don't usually shout out drummers that much, but I love that drum work in that second verse. Loads of really cool double kick drumming going on there. And a bit unusual, you know, because this is a sort of really sort of, like I said, a slow to medium paced song. So to have that sort of double kick drum fit right in with that. I mean, it's a heavy song because, because of the groove of the song and the guitars are right up in the mix. It's straight, you know, forward. This is a guitar driven track for sure. But it's nice to hear that sort of drumming that's really technical and should, normally you would hear in like a really fast song fit straight in with this sort of slow to medium paced song. So some really cool twists and turns in it as well. Musically, I love it. You know, it sort of stayed the same, but there's some little bits added to make it a really interesting listen. That's cool that they do that. Do you know what I mean? To make things a little bit and stir the pot a bit more on that second verse. Fucking love it. Love this song. Love everything about it. Here we go for the rest of it. And it's just about to change. So here we go.
It's got to be one of my favourite songs of this year. Just epic stuff. The way it changed into that um, quiet part, the guitar work was just beautiful through that quiet, you had the clean guitar and electric guitar with the quiet part. The way it built back up into the song and then just exploded into a, that guitar solo that was just technically one of the best things I've heard this year. It went into that, the brilliant song yet again at the end. So bookended, if you like, by a brilliant verse and chorus. Man, one of the songs of the year for, for definite. Six minutes of pure, older sort of classic metal, but backed up by sort of modern production with some brilliant harmonizing vocals, some amazing guitar work. I love absolutely everything about that song. That's a bit of me, that is, because of the speed of the song. It just fits perfectly in my wheelhouse of what things I like. What an amazing song. It got me a bit. This song got me a little bit, this one. It made me feel a bit, you know, I don't know, emotional, a bit a bit like when I heard Forge Your Future by Spirit Adrift last year. That's, this sort of makes me feel a little bit like when I heard that song, my that was my song of the year last year. This has got those feels for me. It sort of transported me a little bit to a time when life was a bit simpler, you know, a bit easier, I suppose, when you was younger. But gives me loads of sort of modern stuff as well. The emotion in that song was just ridiculous. I mean, listen back to this song again without a reaction. Go and listen to this, however you got to listen to it. Get hold of it. Turn it up. Put your headphones on. Shut your eyes. Because that was an amazing song. It really was. Some songs just get me to think about them. And that was one of them. It really has. So this is already out. This EP is from a band called Wings of Steel. I think they're American. And if they're American, which I believe they are, people who say America can't do it with rock and metal anymore. They've fucking got to listen to this. So that was Black Out the Street from Wings of Steel from their EP called Wings of Steel. It's available everywhere now. Just fucking amazing stuff, man. Have a listen to the whole EP. I am straight away. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you soon.